In Turkey, you can find a surreal ghost town with almost 600 fairy tale looking castles. A project which cost 200 million dollars already. What happened here? And are the castles really what the investors promised for? We'll find out. beginning of 2021 and I'm back in Turkey with Frank to document a giant cruise ship and a ghost town. We're heading to the northwestern part of Turkey which has a beautiful scenery. A few miles from a historical town which might be UNESCO heritage in the future you can find a famous fairy tale ghost town. All right here you arrive looks pretty surreal, this place. Insane, right? Yeah. Almost 600 castles. I think one is nearly finished and the rest is in a really bad condition. Yeah, we got something to windows. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is the guard probably sitting here? Yeah. Alright, continue man. Oh, there are a lot of people here. A few cars are there. Mm. Insane! How many castles there are. So I was here before, but I didn't make an episode because I thought it was really popular already. But uh, yeah, it is funny to see how bad these castles are constructed. Watch over there. What's there? Oh, the view, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can park here on the left. Uh. This ghost town started as a luxurious development project which could boost the local economy. The investors promised high-end villas, inspired by French castles in the Loire Valley, and lavish amenities for its buyers. The most buyers supposed to be wealthy Gulf tourists, so the project got an Arabic name, Berik Al Babas. Berik means tower, and Al Babas refers to a local spa. In the center of development, supposed to come an impressive neoclassical building like the US Capitol. There were also plans to build a shopping center, Turkish bath, cinemas, and sporting facilities. The project began in 2011 with $200 million, and they started to construct 587 of the planned 732 identical villas. In 2018, the company went bankrupt. A fairy tale which didn't end well. During the years, not much work was done anymore, and the project turned into a ghost town. With the current pandemic, it's more likely it will turn into a tourist attraction instead of ever being finished. It's not the only project with this fate. There are more modern ghost towns like this one, which is in the same area. Let's go, we're gonna take a closer look at these villas. We have to go down here somewhere. We have to avoid cameras because there's a security guard in the front. My god, this ground feels really weird eh, walking here. <laughs> I feel like I'm 10 pounds heavier. Oh my god. Oh look, look at this. <laughs> my god. Oh. Yeah, we have to go down and then up again because on the right is uh, another camera. Yeah, where? 
yeah, later on. <laughs> crazy view, huh? Yeah, it's, crazy. Going to jump down here it's pretty serious here, the wire. Almost 590 castles are here. There's supposed to be uh, a lot more. But uh, was something with corruption or something? No? no, they just ran out of money. And then they also built it cheaper, so they uh, supposed to be really luxurious. But after they got in trouble, they became less luxurious. But uh, you will see in the houses, man. It's really uh, crappy how they made it. We have to go. There's a camera on the corner there. You can see the camera there yeah. on the on the pole. Two cameras. Great. So we need to avoid that, and then we're safe. Here we are at the ghost village in Turkey. <laughs> Inhabitants three or four, huh? Avoid the roads. Somebody is, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people might drive around. These are one of the less completed villas, castles, whatever you call them, racks. <laughs> Silent here, huh? Yeah, soon we should go down. Oh. I can see here, there are some that are almost completed from the outside. See if there are no cameras in here. I'm oh, just in the far end. All right, let's quickly uh, cross the road. At first sight, these villas seem pretty okay, but when you take a closer look, you can see damages. Some parts even fell off. How is this possible? Go inside this one. Yeah. Maybe. Same shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah nice drilled holes. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> So they ran out of money and then they, they build it as cheap as possible. But this is the result. Yeah, really? Uh, what is the goal? <laughs> <laughs> uh. I, I don't get the floor. Uh, because he, he this is for the, the floor heating. No. This, well, the cables. Watch, this is concrete. Uh -huh. And the other one is uh, the... Styrofoam, I guess yeah. it's called. 
So <laughs> much quick here than the uh, yeah. houses come now. Probably, yeah. Look, yeah. styrofoam, yeah. Yeah, well, use it as a stone, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the decoration for outside. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so you get a castle made of styrofoam. But that's funny, that's why I wanted to go back to uh, show it because everyone says, oh my god, there are magnificent castles, but actually there are just uh, this was also shitty ones. Nice thinking, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, well, we can have a good laugh here. Fiberglass instead of real roof tiles. <laughs> yeah, let's go up. So these houses cost between 350,000 and half a million dollars each, which uh, they say is uh, really cheap. This is blown away already. Yeah. yeah. It's also styrofoam. The joke. This is the quality what you get. You see yeah, these stones. Yeah. You think these are roof tiles? No. It's one you know, fiberglass piece. Oh, yeah, you can see it from the inside. It's really bad quality. This is also a uh, really cheap quality. This is uh, you know, fiberglass. Look at the quality. Also the fitment is really bad. <laughs> Look at this, yeah. It's hilarious. Watch it, the door is not even open completely. Oh no. <laughs> oh, well constructed. <laughs> Damn. play outside the house will be uh, <laughs> unrepairable here you can see the wonderful details made from styrofoam <laughs> I think when you put this in the rain uh, yeah, you can see there was nothing, just a layer of, uh, I don't know what it is, maybe... Uh, hips? Uh, I don't know, caulk, caulk, here, yeah. they spray it, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poly, polyfix. Oh, polyfix. Imagine having a castle made of styrofoam, it looks like a Lego of Duplo castle, huh? why they just didn't build like 100 castles, finish them and then get some money from the project and build the next 100 because now everything is abandoned, almost 600 castles. I think maybe the concrete and everything was cheaper when they built 500. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh Bob, you don't want to buy a holiday castle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For that money I can travel the world a few times. Work. You can see the rust 
from the main construction when it comes through. Oh my god. Yeah, this will this project will never be finished. Never. And also, you buy a castle and you go to the balcony and you think you have a lot of space and you can almost shake your hands with your neighbor. <laughs> Construction quality. You can see they already try to repair it, or just uh, two picks and they make it together. But uh, don't know the temperature differences. Uh, yeah, it's just straight big. away. Yeah, big gap. Put my finger in between. It also like that's why it was rusty already on the inside. Yeah, it's maybe nice for the first five years, and then uh, you can start all over again. Huh? It was not nice in the beginning to start okay. with. <laughs> no, but I have to say the design is nice. Yeah, okay. I really like the design. Looks like Disneyland. Yeah, but still, looks like a nice castle. This is just one part, so you only see maybe, I would say like 50. And when we go to the right, there are a lot, a lot more. Oké, okay. <laughs> breek de roof down. Zo ja, het koos is ook wel. Despite the really cheesy construction, the whole site looks surreal from each balcony. I've never seen such a place like this before. To me, it looks like a utopian village. For constructors, they can have a good laugh. It's like concrete they put on just shitty bricks. And then with extra things they try to uh, <laughs> fix it or something, I don't know. I'm not a constructor, but I see this is like... Uh, <laughs> not really, really bad. Not, not worth the money. <laughs> so there are some more castles. Some have uh, marble staircase. I'm going to try to find a more intact one. But actually they're all the same. So some have even a basement with a swimming pool. Maybe we find one of those as well. And every level is supposed to have a jacuzzi. So that's, that's a nice uh, thing. <laughs> but I can't I can imagine the structure can hold uh, a jacuzzi on every level. Don't can imagine Bob that you want to live here. <laughs> also with jacuzzi on each floor. <laughs> <laughs> For me the worst part is this is built next to a really nice old traditional village, then you have this fake village next to it. It should be forbidden then. In another episode we visit Moderno, the historical village nearby, and explore some abandoned traditional Ottoman houses. Also this. <laughs> I don't know if it's normal, but <laughs> this I can just put my hand through. Pop, it's installed. Yeah, <laughs> close enough. Put, uh, put some of this on with the sticks here. Yeah. Yeah, it's not finished complete. We got I one here. Yeah. Was it finished complete? Yeah, there was one. Yeah, I think uh, the guard lives there. Okay. Yeah. I think yeah, I don't know. So, uh, you like this place or? <laughs> it's something special that you don't see every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> That could be special. Uh, that could be delivered on special order. There was some ordering. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like I think like three hundred or more. There were a few hundred houses that were sold, but 
Yeah. They haven't delivered it, though they lost all the money. Okay. Okay, up to the next one. These are the constructing stones. They weigh nothing. You can just easily lift them. I think you can lift them with one finger. You see? <laughs> It's uh, really sad for the people that they were involved with this project. You can see here, this one, they uh, finished the staircase. Or finished, so they laid them down, you see? It's, I think it's granite. Granite or marble. But with all the mess, you don't see See it. also already the ice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's already leaking. When you renovate or complete these houses, you can start all over, eh? because uh, it's oh, yeah. water damage. Yeah, the water needs to dry out completely. This is nice too. Everywhere it comes to water down. Oh here yeah, they did some test drawing in the wall. Yeah, but when you see the drawing shots of this place, it's crazy. It looks really cool. Only the interior is... Uh, well, yeah, if you want some sockets, you want them the <laughs> I do not. <laughs> the fairy tale villas had to be even more impressive on the inside, with high ceilings, ornate plaster work, parquet flooring and a spiral staircase, but it seems almost none of it will be realized. We continue our search, a villa with a pool and we notice each villa has its own problems. We found one with a cellar. There should be a swimming pool in the basement. Yeah, yeah boy. Watch. Even an elevator. Good elevator. Yeah, 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 yeah. The elevator. <laughs> the ears where the elevator was located. Yeah. Or it's supposed to be located, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, here's supposed to come a nice pool. Is it big? Oh, yeah, it's pretty large. I only would miss the sunlight. No words needed. Here's the skeleton, one of the villas. Time to make some pictures, before we slowly return to our car. So what's the conclusion? I think these 832 villas will never be finished. The investor has promised luxury villas, but with the common structures, standing way too close to each other and with cheap styrofoam ornaments, I believe potential buyers will go for another option. A small part of the ghost town, but it's all the same, so it's uh, not worth it to spend hours here. It's all the same. Yeah. Just had the concrete on it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more of our adventures.